Hello guys, welcome back to a civil engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to show the production process of the cement, that how the cement is produced. So just for the information, the water is the most used material on this planet. Water is on the first number. And we should know that the second most used material or the substance on this planet Earth is the concrete. Concrete is, the, concrete is the second most used substance on this earth. So, and we know that the, the main component of the concrete is cement. So, the production, pro, the production of the cement is huge because every day we see millions of millions cubic of concrete is produced around the world. And around 6%, around 6% CO2 is produced by the cement production. So this was the basic information about the cement and concrete. Now come to the production process of the cement. Cement is basically composed of three main components. One is the clay. Clay contains different oxides like aluminum oxide, iron oxide, and some uh, silicon oxides and so many so clay is mainly composed of the oxides and the second component in the cement is the limestone these are the important component of the uh, cement and the limestone is basically the calcium carbonate and the third component in the production of cement is the gypsum so these are three main components used in the production of the cement. Now how cement is produced, I will explain in a really simple and easy way. So basically clay, if I draw it with a new color, so clay, which I showed on the first number, clay and limestone, here we take the clay and limestone, and they are combined together, they are brought up together, and they are heated up to the 1450 centigrade temperature. They are heated, they are combined together and they are heated to this temperature and then they formed a new material, we call it clinker. We call it clinker, where clinker is basically a small particles, which is a combination of the clay and limestone. After the after the uh, clinker, what we do, we cool down this clinker material. It's been gone through the cooling process, so it's been cooled down. And now after cooling process of the clinker, another material is added, which is the gypsum. Now, the thing is that why we add gypsum here in the production of the cement? The main role of the addition of the gypsum is that it, it increases the setting time of the, it increases the initial setting time of the cement. It increases the initial setting time of cement. So, because we need some time for the uh, cement to have some workability. So, without the aiding of gypsum, there, uh, the setting time of the cement is very low. So we add gypsum in order to increase the initial setting time of the cement. So the here is cement. And also to reduce the hydration process of the cement. So these both are the uh, main uh, reasons why the gypsum are added to the cement. So then after the addition of the gypsum, what we do here, we grounded this material after the adding of gypsum to the clinker which has been cooled down there then grounded by grounded I mean they are put into, into the machine the combination of gypsum and clinker and they are break down into very small particles depending on the size of the cement so finally we have cement in our hand so this is the basic process of the cement that how they are produced if you look to the numbers so clinker is basically the cement uh, composed of basically two components here. If we look to the clinker and gypsum, so clinker contains 
in the semen contains 95% of clinker and 5% of gypsum. So only 5% of gypsum is added to the production process of the cement. So this was a general overview that how the cement are produced just by combining the two basic materials, the clay and limestone, they are heated together to this temperature and then they uh, form a clinker, then it's been cooled down and then a gypsum is added and then again it has been grounded to the cement particle size and we have cement. So I hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.